What's up people, Majin Buu is an absolute monster this week. Like I said last week, Majin Buu is one of the strongest fighters in the universe and he sure as hell shows it today. Also there were a couple cool things that happened in this episode that we'll talk about, so uh, let's get into it. One thing I say it always keeps. So picking up where we left off last week, Majin Buu is getting kicked around everywhere by Basil and uh, it's actually not affecting him. As we know, Majin Buu, he doesn't get affected by these kind of attacks, especially not from people that aren't stronger than he is. Majin Buu pretty much is taking all these shots and mucking around because that's what Hercule told him. Hercule told him, oh that guy wants to play with you, go play with him. So that's what he's doing, he's mucking around, he's playing. Basil actually pulled out a Blackfoot Sanji and uh, made his foot on fire. During one of Basil's attacks, Hercule got hurt somehow, and uh, Boo was not happy. That's when Boo started going serious, he got real angry, and then that's when he started fighting properly. Boo starts showing his true power in this episode, and it is too much for Basil. He can't actually keep up. Because Basil can't actually keep up with Boo, Rao, the Supreme Kai from Universe 9, he actually chucks him a drug or something that gives him super strength, super power, like more than he's already got. I think that's cheating, I'm sure everyone thinks it's cheating. Lord Beros thought that it was cheating, but uh, it was overruled because this is just a match for Zeno's pure enjoyment and he didn't want it to stop, so it didn't stop. And I wonder too, I'm sure these three fighters will be part of the top 10 for their universe to fight. Are they the only ones to have these drugs? Are these drugs only specific to them? Do they give them extra powers because of their poison? Do they enhance them or do they make them stronger? Will it work on any of the other fighters in that universe? Uh, this will be something really cool to see. Anyway, this makes Basil crazy strong. He actually doubles in size with muscle mass and uh, he tries to go in. But it's really nothing for Boo. After he finishes his attack and Boo's on the ground, he comes up and he's like, you're strong, but I'm stronger. And puts a full on attack at him. It looks like Boo puts everything he's got into this one and he blasts the crap out of him. Uh, when you see the dust clear, he's actually still standing, but he's already at his limit. He can't do any more. He can't fight. He actually collapses to the ground and that's it. So this universe actually really thought they had it with Boo, but uh, they couldn't have been any further from the truth. They didn't actually know that Boo was super strong. Gohan is the next fighter. He'll be fighting Lavender, and he actually asked Goku if he could fight. I'm sure he just wants to test how strong he is and show Goku his current power level and where he can improve. Because it does now seem that Gohan is taking this tournament really seriously because he knows that the universe will be destroyed if he doesn't try his best. Supreme Kai Rao tells Lavender, you better not lose, and he said he won't lose if he can kill, which Bergamot now tells him, kill to your heart's content. So he is going in there with the intent to kill Gohan. Now this should honestly be a really interesting fight. I really want to see this because Lavender has the intent to kill Gohan. Gohan obviously wants to win, but he's not coming in with that intent to kill. He's coming in with a tournament style mind. Now coming in fighting with tournament rules and coming in fighting with the intent to kill is two completely different things. For this next episode when they're fighting, Lavender actually blinds Gohan. And as they said in this episode, they can't actually sense their key. Now Gohan's actually going into this fight blind and won't be able to sense their key, so he's going to use his other senses. Uh, hearing, smell, feeling the wind around him, he's going to have to use all these other senses to try and beat Lavender. Getting thrown into a proper battle, not being able to sense key or be able to see your opponent, that is definitely going to push Gohan over the edge. I think this will be the episode where he really starts to get a grasp on his actual fighting potential again, his fighting skills, his overall battle sense. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be stronger than he was when he was fighting Boo, or if he was just as strong as he was fighting Boo. But this is definitely a step in the right direction. This is definitely how it's all going to start to bring back Gohan, the Gohan that everyone loves and wants to see. Now also something interesting that we saw in this episode, when Basil was doing one of his attacks at Boo, and when Boo shot it away, the fighter from Universe 11, the one in the cloak, he actually grabbed the blast and nullified it. This fighter who I actually thought was the purple guy fighting Goku in the title sequence is not, is actually Toppo. Now Toppo is the leader of the hero team Pride Troopers, Guardians of Peace in Universe 11. Now Toppo is actually so strong, he's been scouted as one of the candidates for the God of Destruction in that universe. So he's so strong, he could actually be the next God of Destruction. Now something I want to know, why is Goku not fighting Toppo? Why is he fighting this purple guy that we see in the title sequence? Is the purple guy stronger and just harder to control? Is he more savage? All cool things I can't wait to see. Gohan's fight this week should be incredible. It's going to be so cool. We've been waiting for 80 episodes to see Gohan do something cool. And hopefully this is the episode that he gets to do it. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about anything I've had to say? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd honestly really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Saiyan Satsumi, to keep updated with all things Dragon Ball Super. Also, if you want to see more videos from me, click the boxes that are on the screen right now. As always, people, thank you so much for watching. I'm The Saiyan Satsumi. Catch you guys next time.